This is morning motivation for educators on the B Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to the show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. Good morning, my friends. I am Candace Noss, a physical therapist, a life coach, a lifelong Christian, a mother of six. And I created my business, the Mind Body Spirit Trifecta, where I liberate, enlighten, and empower others to elevate their mind, body, and spirit and own their divine greatness. I am so thankful that it is Thursday and it's my opportunity to connect with some of my favorite people through this podcast. I hope you know, I truly love you for listening and I hope this shot of gratitude grants you insights, enlightenment, and momentum for your day. What are you thankful for? Today, my heart is full of gratitude for an exercise one of my closest friends challenged me to do to write down my own vivid vision, a vivid vision of who I really am, who I want to become. Now, not only did she throw down that challenge for me, but she allowed me the privilege to read her vivid vision. Wowza, what an inspiring document this vivid vision of hers was. It was full of wisdom, light, and truth. It succinctly and boldly declared her beliefs and testimony. Through eloquent language, it delineated her special gifts and talents and capacities and abilities. It clearly articulated her unique and sacred missions to this world. It painted a detailed picture of her best life and her most divine self. It was one of the most empowering and straightforward documents I have ever had the pleasure of reading. It has been on my mind, inspiring me ever since. The fact is, to create and become the person that we want to be, we must be able to visualize it first. We have to know what we really genuinely wholeheartedly want in order to become that. So do you know this for yourself? Do you know who you want to become? Do you know who you want to be? What do you want to be known for? I love how hope is often referred to as bright, as in a brightness of hope. Hope shines the light on what we want, and it is the prerequisite to actually receiving it. The clearer and more detailed the picture in our head is of what we hope for, the easier it is to bring that vision into reality. Just like building a house requires blueprints, things have to be created spiritually first before they can be manifest physically. Having a vivid vision is essential. The more vivid it is, the more realistic it becomes, the more probable it is that we will become that. This is one reason I love to meditate. It gives me space and time to imagine and visualize and get clear on what I most sincerely desire. So on this thankful Thursday, I challenge you to think about who you want to be. I'm going to lay down the challenge for you. What is your vivid vision of yourself and your life? I've had many clients tell me that the hardest question I ask them is, how do you want to feel the next time this circumstance arises? One typical reply is, I don't really know how I want to feel. And although this is what they say, the more accurate response is that they don't truly believe that in this circumstance, they could actually feel what deep down they really want to feel. They can't envision this version of themselves yet. Friends, visualization is necessary in order to develop self-belief. We must be able to see ourselves in our mind doing what we desire to do, being who we want to become before we can actually do and become that. As we know from the world of psychological research, people will become what they think of themselves. So then, what do you think of yourself? What do you want to think of yourself? Begin visualizing who you want to become. What do you hope for yourself? Create a vision of this best version of yourself, who you are at your very best. Make it vivid. As you picture yourself in this way, your vivid vision will generate the self-belief required to continually spiral upward toward your most divine self. 
I am so thankful for the opportunity we each have to create our very own unique, vivid vision of who we want to become. The formula for creation is see plus say plus feel. We must first see what we hope to create in our mind's eye. Then we must say using words, both mentally and out loud. Finally, we must feel generating the powerful emotions of faith, belief, and gratitude in advance. The exercise of creating our own vivid vision fulfills the see plus the say. And as we read this vivid vision over and over again, imagining it to be true, it continues to paint the picture in our mind of what we truly can become. We now begin to feel. This see plus say plus feel enables us to begin to generate the faith and self-belief necessary to truly become what we have envisioned and articulated in our vivid vision. I am so grateful for this vivid vision that I've created because it is such a powerful tool that will help us continually build self-belief and level up. I challenge you to take this opportunity to create your own vivid vision. Now life is full of ups and downs, but having a vivid vision will help you receive inspiration and direction for each step in this tricky dance of life. If you've already created a vision of vivid vision about who you really are and who you are becoming, then after you do the work of putting pen to paper in order to clearly and boldly articulate and envision your highest self living your best life, then when the storms of life hit, Your vivid vision will be like the lighthouse that stands firm, stable, and leads you in the right direction. I'm so grateful that I took the time and effort putting forth the mental exertion to vividly create in word form my vision of who I want to be. Me showing up in alignment with my highest self. As you create this document, word it as if you already are that person and read it often. Allow your vivid vision to assist you in confidently moving forward in the direction of your dreams. I am so thankful for the power of a vivid vision. As I invite you to create your own vivid vision, I challenge you to create it today. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can continually change and edit it. The magic happens in just starting to write it. The benefits of having your own vivid vision that you can read, listen to, and review often are astounding. I have recorded myself stating my vivid vision and often I will play the recording and hear myself in my own voice stating the amazing things about myself as if I already am who I want to become. It is powerful. I am thankful that I was challenged to write down my vivid vision and I'm so grateful for the clarity and direction it is providing in my life. Friends, remember, you are designed for greatness. Create your vivid vision of you living into that greatness. Thank you for joining me today and for being part of my journey. I believe in you. I'm truly thankful for you. If you'd like more from me, grab my free video about taking your self-talk from crappy to happy. And I'd love for you to join my thankful Thursday email. Listen to and subscribe to my podcast. It's called Designed for Greatness with Candace Noss. All the links are in the show notes. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.